Hey, we're here today with Chef Bree, chef and baker to the stars. And she's going to actually cook us some cod today. Tell us about it. Yeah, so today we're going to make some really delicious cod. We are going to make a Kentucky bourbon glazed cod. Wow. So a few of my favorite ingredients, mm. bourbon being the first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm but I'm really, it's super easy like all the other recipes sure. that we do. Um, we're going to start by making this sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go ahead and pour. We have measured out a half a cup of your favorite bourbon. We're using like a classic Kentucky bourbon today. So go ahead and pour that into that bowl. Wow. That's gonna give that cod that nice little kick at the end. Mm. And then we're also gonna add in equal parts, so a half a cup of balsamic vinegar. Mm. So that's just kinda gonna sit aside. So we're gonna put this over here. So now we're gonna take another equal parts of honey. So a half a cup of honey, we're gonna add it into this small saucepan right here. So we're gonna turn up the heat. So we're gonna put the honey in there. And we're just gonna heat up the honey until it starts to boil, not boil, but bubble a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then it's gonna start turning into like an amber color. That's when you know it's ready to add the bourbon and the balsamic. Always use a wooden spoon for a sauce like this, especially with the honey, it just works better. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna put all that honey in there. Gently stir it so it doesn't stick. And you just wanna keep a close eye on it because you don't want it to burn. Mm -hmm. Because like you're crystallizing it, you're crystallizing and caramelizing mm -hmm. the honey. I had a question for you. So yes. what do you think for the folks that actually have the electric stoves versus the gas? Yes. What would be your recommendation? Is there a different way that you actually have to let it set or? or... I, it's pretty much the same. Uh, I'm not a fan of electric stoves just okay. because they are a lot hotter. Um, you have more control with an open flame. Mm -hmm. So just make sure you're watching it and so it doesn't burn. Yeah. But as you can see, if you take a look right now, it's starting to bubble a little bit on the edges. Mm. So we're gonna let it just sit a little bit longer until it gets that nice, beautiful amber color. So now we're gonna take a larger saucepan and we're gonna set this honey aside so that it comes down a little bit in temperature. We're going to take our balsamic bourbon mixture and we're gonna pour that on low heat into the larger pan. Mm -hmm. And slowly, while being careful, you're gonna pour this hot honey mixture into here. Now this is caramelized sugar basically, so you wanna make sure not to touch it and to kind of stand back in case it starts to pop. As you can wow. see, it starts to bubble up. Mm. We're gonna let all of that honey in there, and that's gonna make it a nice little glaze. So now we're gonna turn up this heat, keep an eye on it, let it kind of combine for a couple minutes, and then that's gonna be our yummy glaze for the top. Now heating it like this, it's gonna also cook out the alcohol content in the bourbon, but leave the nice bourbon flavor. Good, okay. So we're just gonna turn up the heat to about medium, medium high kind of just let it do its thing. And then in the meantime, let's season up this cod. Oh yeah. Yes, so cod is a really delicious fish, so you don't have to do too much to it as far okay. as seasoning goes. We are going to simply just salt both sides. So we're gonna, let's do these two pieces. Um, let's see, we're gonna use some kosher salt. Now what's the trick on the kosher salt versus the tr traditional so salt that kosher, we see? Yeah, kosher salt doesn't dissolve as fast as regular salt does, like iodized salt. Mm -hmm. So I love cooking with kosher salt, and any chef you ask usually mm -hmm. prefers kosher salt. Sure. Can you go ahead and sprinkle that? I touched with both my hands, so I'm trying to stay sanitary. Wow. So just go ahead and sprinkle both sides. Perfect. So how's that sauce coming? You it wanna stir it a little out. bit? Yes, I do. Make myself useful. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. Unbelievable. You know, one of the things I always see when you're cooking, it's always simple. What does this do about three different uh, ingredients? Ingredients. I find that most of my recipes do have three main ingredients mm -hmm. and then along with its little seasonings, but I like to keep it simple so that anybody mm. can make these at home and they're not intimidated by them. and it encourages people to actually try them. That's good, that's really good. Okay, so we're gonna let that bubble up by itself, leave it alone. See how it's starting to bubble right yeah. there? It's gonna start to thicken. And then once it thickens, it's like ready to pour over the fish. Mm. So now we're going to heat up our skillet so that we can cook these. Okay. 
So we're going to put it to about medium, medium high. Let that get nice and hot. We're going to put some oil and butter into the pan because cod is so delicious with butter. It just melts. It already kind of has a buttery flavor, so we're just going to add to that. Put about, probably about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of butter. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to just put a little bit of olive oil. Should be about right. We're going to let that coat the bottom of the pan. Mm. Now you can already smell the balsamic yes, coming through can. with the bourbon. I am, I love, love, love balsamic. So we're just going to let the alcohol cook out. Mm -hmm. Probably about one more minute, then we'll set that aside and let it kind of come back down. You know, this fish reminds me of a crappie fish that we catch in fresh water. Mm -hmm. It's a pan fish. It looks similar to like a tilapia, but it is so tasty and has a flaky white meat like this. Oh, so I you probably had use the some privilege of fish. trying one. Well, so you're going to catch some when you're you come gonna to Florida. To, yes, you're going to have to teach me how to catch it and I'll cook it. How I about promise? that? Hey, I'll, I'll help Is you that find it. That's a deal. All right, we're putting that I'm into the universe. Tell. But I, 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 I can't be responsible if you get addicted to, to fishing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You'll love it. I'm excited. So we are ready to stick this in here, okay? So we're going to let this do its thing. And we're just going to let that sit there for three to four minutes. So you can see how it's starting to brown a little bit on the outside. Oh, yeah. That's because the butter is browning, mm -hmm. so it's adding really beautiful colors. So we're just going to move these. Now you remember what I was saying that you slightly just move it. If it's not un not sticking, that means it needs to cook a little bit longer. So we're going to actually let it sit maybe for another 30 seconds. Okay. Just until it quickly, oh, see so this one removes now. So you want to make sure it's going to come off easily. You don't want it to stick to your pan because then you end with a nasty filet. Mm. Look at that color. That thing is beautiful. Wow. You just want to make sure it's not going to stick, go all the way around. This one's still stuck a little bit, so we're going to just... See how that one's sticking now? Yeah. Because we just flipped it. This one's releasing. Oops. There we go. Oh. Now we let that sit for another three to four minutes. And while that's doing that, let's go ahead and cut up our green onion for our garnish. Mm -hmm. Oh, chef at work again. Boy, that is a business right there. So that's going to be our garnish for the top. While your fish is cooking and your sauce thickens up too much, you can always reheat it for like a minute until it gets a little thinned out. Okay. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. It really does. Just gonna check on it. That's just amazing. I mean, it's already coming off the pan, so it must be almost done. That one's not. Okay, get this sauce going up again. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy. Okay, I think I'm ready to take them off. Okay. Let's see if this one's still sticking. This one's done. Mm. And I notice every time you cook something, you always want it to rest. Yeah. That's one so of the things I'm learning a lot. Especially if you're going to be cutting it or serving it already cut, okay. you definitely want to make it rest. Now this, we can actually top with our sauce right away and serve it because it's just a whole piece of fish that we're mm -hmm. serving. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to plate, now that the sauce is kind of thickened up and it looks more like a glaze, mm -hmm. we're going to take our fish and we're just going to plate them. So oh, that look how pretty live. that is. Look at that. Wow. They're right on top of each other. Now the best part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the fun part. Yes, the delicious addition. Wow. I mean, look at how it's coating my spoon. That's oh, how man. you know it's done too. You want to make sure it coats your spoon. So it's going to coat that fish so yes. well. Yes, and we're going to pour it right over the fish, just like this. And then we're going to top it with some of our green onions, and then top it with our radish sprouts, just for a garnish. 
And there we have it. We have our Kentucky bourbon glazed oh, pod. Oh my Doesn't goodness. Doesn't it smell so good? It does. Guys, it smells just as good as it looks and oh we cannot wait to taste this. Yeah. Ooh, so it has that crispy Ooh. outside, super flaky the on the inside. I mean, look at that, dip it in that sauce. Want some? Make Psych. sure you get that sauce. Mm. Mm. That butter unreal. gives it that nice crispy mm -hmm. on the outside. Oh, and man. the sweetness even comes from that sauce. Mm -hmm. Very good. I love this butter. <laughs> the butter. And then that bourbon. Mm, I'm going in for more. Chef Bree, absolutely fabulous. Thank you. Tasty. And if you would like to find more recipes from Chef Bree, go to our website at www.efficientstory.com. And always remember, it's simple, it's tasty, and they're all fun to catch.